Hello students, the activities demonstrate the mathematical concepts in a simplified manner. This simplifies the subject and it also generates curiosity among students to learn the subject in a better way. Here we shall perform an activity to investigate the sum of the interior angles of a polygon. To perform this activity, we will require some materials like chart paper, colored sketch pens, pair of scissors, adhesive and ruler. For this activity, we shall be using two valid assumptions, namely the sum of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees and we can divide any polygon into n minus 2 mutually exclusive triangles. One more interesting fact to note here is while performing this activity we are not going to measure any angle and still we will be able to verify this important result. Now to begin with let us start with the simplest polygon that is a triangle. A triangle has three sides. Look here we have a triangle A, B, C. In this we have marked angles A, angle B and angle C. Let us first verify the sum of these three angles do they add up to 180 degrees. For this we have prepared replicas of angles angle A, angle B and angle C. Now in order to verify the sum of the interior angles, let us pick up these replicas and arrange on a straight line. This is replica of angle B, this is replica of angle C. What do we observe? Yes. The sum of these three angles is 180 degrees. We can express this 180 degrees as 3 minus 2 into 180 degrees, where 3 is the number of sides of a polygon. Now, let us check this result in case of a quadrilateral. In case of a quadrilateral as we all know it has four sides. Let us have a quadrilateral here as A, B, C, D. Here we can see that a quadrilateral has four sides namely AB, BC, CD and DA. With the help of our assumption, we can divide this quadrilateral into two mutually exclusive triangles. Look here, by joining the points A and C that is the diagonal, we have two mutually exclusive triangles here. A, B, C and triangle A, D, C. Here this is our first triangle A, B, C and here comes our second triangle A, D, C. Now students, can you guess what should be the sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral? It should be twice the sum of the angles of one triangle. We have seen just now some of the angles of a triangle were 180 degrees. We have two triangles here. So, it should be 2 into 180 degrees that is 360 degrees. So, in case of a quadrilateral as we have two triangles here, the sum can be expressed as 4 minus 2 into 180 degrees. Here 4 is the number of sides of a quadrilateral and this gives us 360 degrees. Now let us look into the next polygon that is a pentagon. How many sides does a pentagon have? It has 5 sides. 
let us draw a pentagon. This is the third side, this is the fourth and this makes a pentagon. Let us name it as A, B, C, D and E. Again with the help of our assumption, we shall join the points A, C. This is one of the diagonals here. Same way, we will join A, C, A, D and this makes three triangles inside a pentagon. So, can you guess what should be the sum of the interior angles here? It should be 3 multiplied by 180 degrees because sum of angles of a triangle is 180. We have got three triangles here. Look, this is first triangle. Here is our second triangle and here comes a third triangle. These triangles are mutually exclusive. They form a pentagon. Okay. So, sum of the interior angles of a pentagon should be, we had number of sides as 5, 5 minus 2 into 180 degrees that is 540 degrees. So, we have found out that sum of the interior angles of a pentagon is 540 degrees. Now, students let us explore the same result in case of a hexagon. A hexagon has 6 sides. Let us draw a hexagon. This is the second side. Here comes the third. This is the fourth one, fifth and this is the sixth side. This is a hexagon. Let us name it as A, B, C, D, E and F. Now, with the help of our assumption, let us divide it into n minus 2 triangles which are mutually exclusive. This will do by joining the points A, C. This is one of the diagonals. Same way, we shall join A, D to form another triangle and A, E to form exclusive triangles. We can observe here that in a hexagon, we can draw four triangles which are mutually exclusive. Look here, we have the first triangle here as ABC. Here comes the second triangle ACD. This is a third triangle ADE and fourth triangle AEF. These triangles are mutually exclusive. We know sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. As we have four triangles here, so what should be the sum of the interior angles of a hexagon? It should be 4 multiplied by 180 degrees that is 720 degrees which can be expressed as S is equal to 6 minus 2 into 180 degrees that is 720 degrees. So, students we can generalize that the sum of the interior angles of a polygon can be expressed in the form S is equal to n minus 2 into 180 degrees, where n is the number of sides of the polygon. Now, can you guess what will be the sum of the interior angles of a polygon having 100 sides? It is very easy. You can explore for yourself. Thank you.